Today, I asked myself the question, how many people are actually using the meta guns in Warzone 2? Like the, the MCPRs, the MP5s, ISO 45s, Cronin Squalls, things like that. Because every once in a while, someone will kill me with like a Castoff 545 or an MX9. And it got me thinking, how many people are out there running things like maybe a mini Bach or an MX9? Or if there's anyone crazy running like an LMS or EBR14, something like that. So today, I'm going to drop into and spectate a Warzone Solos match. And I'm going to keep track of all the different guns I see from the different perspectives that we watch. And at the end of the video, I'm going to add up uh, the most popular gun that I see and recreate that class to the best of my ability and jump in a solos match myself and see how well I do. Now, I am by no means a top tier player, so I think the chances are pretty high that we're going to see some weird stuff. So this could either go boringly well or like hilariously wrong. But there's only one way to find out, and that's to jump into the match and see what we see. Wow, that is a uh, not terrible circle, but the flight path is, uh, that's pretty bad. So um, first, obviously, of course, we're just going to splat as quick as we can, try to win that gulag, and then land somewhere else and let, some let someone kill me, or maybe just splat and let the Warzone gods take the wheel. Let's, uh, let's see what we're feeling. I might even just lose the gulag and be forced to watch that person, so it's a c very real possibility. All right, looks like we're definitely one of the first ones in. Still seven people in the plane. All right, now they're all out. All right, L. Brian. Let's see how we do here. Wow, I almost choked that somehow. Jeez. Sorry, Brian. See you later. Alright, I think we're just gonna let the Warzone Gods take the wheel and, uh... Make a nice, big, Lara Croft-sized hole in the side of this hill. And there we go. Shalove Chico? Or she love Chico? He is standing here with fists. This is, uh, not what I was expecting. Hmm. <laughs> Are you going to move anytime soon? Chico. Oh, there we go. He's back from doing whatever he needed to do. All right, okay, and we're calling... <laughs> okay, uh, an interesting way to get to the second floor. And now, oh, they see someone. And they are immediately running the other direction. Okay. So we have a, a not very confident player on our hands. That's okay. I completely understand. All right, Chico found a gun. Getting better. Can't pick that up if you haven't gone yet, Chico. What are you... What are you doing? I, I don't... I don't understand this play style. Is the map open? What? Chico! Oh, Chico hears footsteps. Is this a real person? Like, what? what is this guy doing? <laughs> okay. I don't know if they're, like, checking their phone every five seconds or wh what's going on. But, man, you got a game here, man. Let's focus on what's important. All right, tack. Not bad. Pick up a perk pack. Good. Oh, 
Oh no, Chico, Chico. Oh, and Chico's, Chico's dead. I can't say I didn't see that coming. And look at this. Oh my God. Someone's getting grenades launched at him. Wavy, you got some problems here, buddy. Oh boy. I wouldn't climb this ladder. But this guy just turned around? <laughs> I don't understand what I'm seeing. I don't believe uh, Wavy Frank here has his loadout yet either. All right, Ghost Perk Pack. That's probably one of the better ones to find on the ground. That one or a high alert one. All right, Wavy, what's the plan? Okay, yep, yeah, bomb drone. I don't know if Wavy has a loadout drop on the map to collect or what, but it looks like we're going swimming. All right, yeah, Wavy Frank doing his best impersonation of Forrest Gump here, just running and running and running. <laughs> he's, he's got a ways to go. I, I don't know. I don't think I can bring up the map. So, yeah, I can't bring up the map. Oh, oh, wow, there's someone behind him. What the heck? Oh, no, Frank. Oh, no, Frank. Clutch shots, clutch shots, get in, get in. Oh boy, oh boy. All right. All right, Frank clutched that one out. More shots coming at Frankie here. I think he's still got a decent amount to go. Oh, somebody is sniping, oh boy, yep. Frank is in a tough spot. I don't know, if this sniper can hit a shot, Frank's toast. Woo. Safe for now. Yeah, we still haven't seen a single loadout gun, so I can't even count any of these people that I've watched so far. We're about halfway through the lobby uh, with second circle closing in in a minute and a half. Hopefully we get to see some actual loadouts, but it, Frank has been having to run for miles here. <laughs> oh, he sees someone parachuting. I wonder if he saw him. Oh, loadout crate. All right, that'll work. We got a Venom Strike, which I think is an M13B that is in the meta. Yep. And I think he might have had an M4 as a secondary, which is... Oh, no, that's a Battle Warren. I think that is the MP5. So this person is running the meta. The M13B, which... I don't know. I, technically, in the meta, I would argue it's... I don't know. It's not great. All right, got the UAV up. Since this game has been bugged for who knows how many months with the uh, minimap not showing accurately the spectator, the information, we have no idea who we may or may not see. That one I saw pop up, must have fired a gun. Oh, and he's marked a building too, I see that. Oh, someone jumped in that building right in front of him, the green second floor. Smart decision not to open the crates. Don't want to let them know that you're here. But he walked right through it. I think there is still a guy. Yep, up there. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, good shots, good shots. Not a lot of plates though, Frank. Yeah, I think this is the MP5 because, oh boy. C4? Oh no, cluster mine. Oh my god, he ran right into his death. You saw him throw it down there, Frank! Oh, now he's just playing with his food. Trying to execute. Oh, yeah. You let it happen to you, Frankie. Oh. Ooh, that was brutal. All right, Bubble Bass. D-O-A. What are you running, Bubble Bass? We got a Vaznev. Okay, which is always kind of been like right on the edge of the meta. Still technically out of it. But all right, we got the Vaznev. With overpressured rounds, interesting. And a high velocity MCPR, so not in the meta, not running the explosive rounds. Unless something has changed, that should not one shot headshot. 
gunshots going off all around Bubble here. He has got a hip fire laser on this thing too. Oh boy. Oh boy, yep. Pick which gun you want for Nice shot, dude. Maybe it is a one shot. Within like a certain range? I don't know. That that's news to me if it is. Alright, precision. Yeah, you just called it in on yourself, man. You better watch out. That thing's gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, get out of there. Alright, so so far we've had a Vaznev, an MCPR, an MP5, and an M13. So all different guns, but we've only been on I think three people. The first guy did not have a loadout, and I don't what are you shaking your head at, Bubble? He is low on plates. He, mi Bubble might want to think about that. Oh boy. Alright, see if he can hit a shot here. Oh, it's just... Alright, fair enough. Using all the utility he has on this one fight here. Got someone. Rusty nail. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, the shots are all over the place, Bubble. We're in the top 16. I think we've only spectated two people with loadout guns so far. So right now, uh, the way I would go with this, I would probably be building out the class that Bubble has here since he's been the longest I've been watching. And uh, it's also they're outside the meta, which is going to be more interesting. Oh, 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 be patient. Bubble. Nice shot, dude. Maybe this is a, uh, a one-shot. Not sure if you guys can hear the proximity chat or not, but that guy uh, was not happy with what Bubble did to him. Uh, maybe accused him of hacking there or something, but I don't think Bubble is. He's just... He's got a good snipe shot. The, the Vaznev shots were a little shaky, not gonna lie there, but the snipe has been crisp. You got gas coming in, man. Oh. All right, making a play. Can't get up there. Oh boy. Oh my, the hip fire god saved his life. Bubble is having a game, 11 kills. Can he close it out? Six other people remaining. Oh, there's a player. Oh, missed that one. That one, I couldn't tell if he hit his head or not, but cleaned him up. He's doing well. Five other people remaining. You've made it to the top five. Good work. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, missed. E That guy is, that guy's not having a good time. Let's we'll see what happens to Bubble here. He's got, ooh, he's got nades coming in. And Bubbles is, oh, okay. I think the, the plate counter is uh, messed up because it's said three for a while now. close he's got to get out of here oh boy this guy's gonna self behind him unless he got no he might have got him already I didn't see the right hit marker oh boy oh this guy didn't see him wow how is this guy alive how are you alive bubble he's a 1v1v1 situation can he bring it home? Oh, 
He has been getting exploded all over the place. There is still someone right on top of him on this gas station awning. Oh, it's 1v1. I'm pretty sure he is directly above him. He's gonna have to come down though. The gas is coming. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely not one shot. Can he close it out? He was downed. Does he have a gas mask? Does he have a play to do? That's not really gonna help you, man. You gotta jump out of that cloud. And he's done. And Bubble takes it home. Easy win. Looks like I will be using a Vaznev and an MCPR with high velocity rounds. Stay tuned and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, now I have recreated Bubbles loadout to the best of my abilities here. Uh, we have the Vaznev. Uh, these are the attachments I think he was running. I, you know, just kind of guessed at the tunings. And then the uh, MCPR it looked like he was using the integrated suppressor barrel, which is interesting. And the uh, the Grimline laser, which gives you like a bunch of hip fire stats and then I guess sprint to fire. But it seems like a weird trade off for that visible at the hip laser. That's an interesting choice. We'll see how it goes, though. I think this is the rear grip he had. It gives a little bit better ADS speed and then the high velocity, obviously. So now we are going to uh, jump into a game here and see how I can perform with it. It's going to be, uh, you know, a high standard to live up to because he won the game. So uh, we'll <laughs> we'll see how it goes, though. All right. Vaznev seems our seems all right. Practice is over. The real fight begins now. Okay, not the worst circle in the world. We can we can deal with this. Gonna try to uh, get the loadout as quick as we can. And uh, get to testing it out. See how we do with it. It'll be interesting using, uh, I mean, I use the MCPR pretty regularly in this game, but definitely not the Vaznev as much. And my MCPR definitely is built out much differently than this one. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Here we go. And if you guys didn't know about this spot here at Seraph Bay, it is very good for getting your loadout money real quick. We got a bunch of cash registers around here. Of course, you know, it doesn't help when the, uh, the regularly scheduled occupation scan is happening, but, you know, we'll, we'll wait this out. Alright. So yeah, now we go in here, we got... You know, they usually have decent guns hanging around in here too. Bunch of plates, cash registers. Sometimes there's a crate over here as well. Oops. Get that smoke. And then we got one more area here. Grab that sniper ammo because we're going to need it. Oops. All right. Yeah, we have... 10,500 already, so now we can head to the buy station. Alright, so we're off and running. Got Bubbles load out here. Oh, and a dur durable. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. We got it. All right, and we can uh, get ourselves a UAV here now. This guy on the train? There's a vehicle. 
Is he floating? What is this guy? No, he's on the train. I don't think we're going to get to him in time. Try to catch up to him here. Oh, he jumped off. All right, we're going to push him. Put the Vaznev to the test here. Oh, did he? Nope, I think. Did he just get back on the train? Well, that was a waste. Pass the mine out. Whoop. Need recon overhead. Copy. UAV is on station. Recon. Enemies deployed a counter UAV. Moving here. Let's go pay this guy a little visit here. Are they still on the UAV or do they... They might have just picked up ghosts from a loadout over there, or they ran away. Oh, nope, there we go. Sniper feels pretty good. I think that might have one-shot him because I took some plates off with my uh, with my Vaznev beforehand. But all right, that's a pretty good start. We'll take that. Let's go grab another UAV. See if we can see anybody. Need recon overhead. Copy that. UAV online Somebody here. up the hill. Hmm, can't see him though. Gotta try to get a better position here. Oh, I think he might be coming closer. Hmm. Well, that guy seems to have dropped off the face of the earth. So, I don't know. Let's go check out the observatory. There's usually a couple of people hanging up here. Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, well, let's hit this redeploy drone and we will reposition and try to find something else. Okay. This guy is coming towards me. Man, I don't know. That guy like just seemed like he knew where I was. That was interesting. Vaznev felt pretty good there. I mean, I almost lost that gunfight, that, but that was probably more because um, I missed some shots. Let's hope this precision doesn't just pop through this building like it's made out of cardboard. Seems like it almost did. had him sitting in the corner yeah good for you man yep here i'm just gonna give up 
What a way to play this game. Just ADS in a corner. Oh my gosh. I cannot counter that type of player. I mean, just sitting in the corner, waiting. I almost had him. Like one bullet away. The drop shot, I guess, barely saved his life, even though I felt like I was dumping bullets right into his face. But, you know. I don't know. It's the way it goes, I guess. Oh, I don't like this. Now we have another hip fire laser here. Death killer. All right. Oh, we got canted lasers. Okay, we're gonna full send this loadout. Maybe. Come on, go, 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 go. Go, dude. Why am I not swimming? What was that? It wasn't letting me swim. And I'm gonna die to gas because of that. The enemy took that one, but we will stop to finish the job. Okay. I guess we're gonna see who it gives me and we're gonna spectate the rest of this out. It wasn't letting, I was pressing forward and it just wasn't swimming. All right, the screed. Let's see what we got here, buddy. In, wow, interesting setup on the Signal 50 here. But I think this is like the, the Schlager thermal view or something. What do you get? The, is he, oh, he's buying kill streaks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fuck the ground. I agree. Yeah, yeah, rocks are hard, man. Yeah, it, it's been a problem for three years now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Need a little better shots there, Street. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, out of bullets, though. Oh, I think. Need to hit some... Okay, yeah. Yeah, throw that smoke out. Throw him off. Throw him off the scent. Requesting fire mission. Target marked. It's probably just gonna run backwards, man. Man, is everyone running cold-blooded in this game now? Oh, he's... Oh, on the pipe, I think. On the pipe, dude. I think. Where else were those gunshots would have been coming from? Oh, on the bridge. I saw a guy running across the bridge. Oh boy. Oh boy. Played up. What you gonna do now, Screed? Oh, that guy jumped off. Okay. I mean, yeah, the guy below him is kind of screwed because he needs to get up here and Screed is really holding him. Oh, he just took a sniper shot. Pretty soon you're going to be in the exact same position that you got this guy in, Screed. I think you got to think ahead here. Because... You might be able to get this guy, but you got at least one sniper looking at you. So I don't know what the plan is here, but we got to figure Turn something out here. Well done. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, <laughs> I'd be pretty upset if I came up that zip line, but yeah. Okay. We got restock claymores. That's one of the radiest things I think I've ever seen in this game. That guy below Screed is either the most patient player ever, or he somehow squeaked out of there, because I... I don't know what happened to him.
But I mean, we're in a bad spot here, Screed. We got a sheer cliff face in front of us. With the same kind of zip line that you got trapped for this guy. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him, man. He might have just died, or he somehow gas played and got around. I don't know. But you got real lucky with this circle pull. You don't have to go up that cliff face now. You can just head back. Yeah, I, I think this guy's gone. Screw it at this point. Oh, that was a personal, personal drone going off there. We're in a bad spot here, though. Still on the low ground. But at least don't have to climb up. And yeah, okay. You can use this as cover. Fair enough. It's 1v1v1. Screed somehow has a chance here. Through sheer patience and will to survive, Screed somehow has a, a shot. And he's got the cluster mine equipped now. He is hoping beyond hope that the last two players shoot each other so he doesn't have to do the dirty work and he can just come in and clean it up. But so far, no shots. Oh, yep. Some, that was a bad choice, Screed. That was a bad choice. That was a bad choice. You better hope that other guy up there third parties him. Where is third guy? He should have been all over that. Oh, oh boy. Now, oh, 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 the cluster mine didn't quite get it done. This guy's in a bush now, in a bad spot. I wonder if this is the guy that was below Screed somehow. I don't know. If it is, that's amazing. I don't know how he survived being down where he was, but he is still in the worst position here, low ground, having to use a zip line to come up. This guy literally just has to be looking at this to be able to take him out. Where are you, dude? Somehow. Unless this guy dropped down on our dude? Is, is the last guy way down in the cavern? He might be. He might be choking to death down there. This might be a gas win. There is nobody around here. Is... Unless this is like a glitched game, if the player got glitched in the gulag, I don't know, but he might be choking to death in the cave. Either that or Mad Season here is having the most unlucky game of his life. Oh my gosh, is is this really gonna happen? Okay, yeah, he just died. Okay, finally the last guy died to gas. Woohoo! And Mad Season takes it home. With the winner being the guest in the end. It got me. Got second place. Snoop Dogg looking good in his golden navy. And that's all she wrote. Alright, so uh this was an interesting experiment. Um definitely the guns that I used, they were pretty good, but uh, you know, my decision making was maybe a little questionable. But also, the game kind of screwed me there. I, I couldn't move as soon as I picked that load up, load up out and uh, just died to the gas, which was unfortunate. But the MCPR, it felt nice. Like I said, I think I headshot that guy and killed him in one because I had ticked off some plates with the Vaznev a little bit. But the Vaznev felt real solid too. Just, you know, died to someone sitting in a corner. Almost beat him. So it was pretty solid. Let me know, guys, uh, if this is something you like seeing. Be sure to leave a like, uh, leave a comment telling me what your uh, meta or off meta loadouts are and let me know if you want me to try some of those, see how that goes. If this is the kind of content you like seeing, subscribe. Uh, I also stream pretty much every day from either 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. to about 11 p.m. at night Eastern. So uh, stop by and say hi and till the next time.